Hey bees, I'm Marie from Humble Bee and Me, and this is Lottie, who recently had a haircut. I am getting better at the dog haircuts. Uh, and today, hello little love. Today we are shaking up a really easy to make, packed with awesome ingredients, biphase hyaluronic acid hair serum. So I first learned about biphase formulations in my Formula Botanica coursework. They're not a super common formulation type, but you can definitely find them if you go looking. I know First Aid Beauty has, or maybe they discontinued it, but it was a biphase makeup remover that got really good reviews. Would you like to go explore? Yeah, bye. So now that Lottie has run off, uh, here is the product. So biphase product, a product that has two phases that uh, are visually distinct. And so we have our water phase here and our wee little oil phase just uh, just floating on top. So of course, if you were trying to make this an emulsified product, uh, an appearance like this would not be considered awesome. You know, you're just sort of like, oh crap, my emulsion split. But in a biphase product, we take that flaw and we turn it into a feature. So you do definitely save some time in the making of a biphase product because you're not worried about emulsifying anything together. But that time that you save in the making, you definitely spend in the sort of pre-use time because you have to of course shake the product before every use. The water phase of this formulation stars some of my favorite ingredients. So there's a good dose of low molecular weight hyaluronic acid and then I've included some polyquaternium 7 which is one of my favorite conditioning ingredients. It's a water soluble kind of blobby clear gel and it makes my hair and skin feel absolutely amazing just so like silky and manageable and it's just divine our tiny little oil phase is mostly comprised of two really light weight emollients so neosance hemisqualane and camellia seed oil you can definitely play with those emollients you could choose uh, cyclomethicone if you wanted to go sort of even lighter you could play with uh, heavier richer oils if your hair is more tolerant of oils and you can also change the balance of the formulation use less water and more oil if your hair loves oils since this product is intentionally not emulsified if you're changing the phase sizes you don't have to worry about adjusting emulsifier use to keep things stable which definitely makes things easier. For use, I have been shaking for use, pumping some into my palm and working it into my hair from about the ears down. This is kind of part hair serum, part leave-in conditioner, and I find that it really helps kind of reduce the dry feel and look of the ends of my hair because I haven't had a haircut in a really long time because the hair salons have not really been reliably open here. And also my favorite hair salon went out of business. I think that is enough chat. As always, please make sure you're reading the full partner blog post to learn way more about this formulation, information on substitution, scaling, shelf life, just yeah, heaps of great stuff. Let's go get started. We'll begin by combining the ingredients for the water phase in a small beaker. Now you can absolutely just pour all of this into the bottle. You'll be storing stuff in and then shake it up and, and you're done. But I am doing it this way just so that you guys can see everything. So in this small beaker, I already have 32.35 grams of distilled water. And to that, I'm going to add 10 grams of a 1% low molecular weight hyaluronic acid solution or stock. And for more information on this, please make sure you are reading the blog post linked in the description box below this video. So we've got half a gram here of polyquaternium 7. So this is a gorgeous conditioning ingredient that just makes hair feel wonderful. One and a half grams hydrolyzed rice protein. And in this little dish, we have a quarter gram each powdered panthenol. That's what the powder is. And our preservative liquid germal plus. If you would like to use a different preservative, please make sure you are checking out the FAQ I have on using different preservatives. And we have our last four ingredients in these beakers. So in here we have two and a half grams of Neosance Hemisqualane. So this is a really lightweight emollient and uh, is gorgeous in all kinds of things. Got two and a half grams of camellia seed oil. So this is another really lightweight liquid oil that has been used in hair care and skin care for centuries in Asia. And then our last two ingredients are in this little dish here. So we have our vitamin E, that's our uh, antioxidant at 0.1 grams, and then a fragrance or essential oil of choice at 0.05 grams. 
So give that a bit of a stir. Now, because this is designed to be a biphase product and it doesn't contain you know, an emulsifier, uh, it's not going to emulsify, so that is, you know, a-okay. Just stirring that up to make sure that, you know, the panthenol dissolves and whatnot. But again, you could just totally put everything in the bottle you're gonna store it in and then uh, shake to combine. So to store this, I'm going to use this frosted glass bottle from New Directions Aromatics. I think they've discontinued these, or maybe they've recontinued them. So I'm choosing a bottle with a treatment pump. You can use a mister top if that's what you've got, but I find that you'll kind of want to miss it into your palms first rather than missing it straight into your hair because it doesn't um, it doesn't really spread out like a mist. It comes out in more of a, a localized squirt. So obviously gonna need to trim this to size. It's a little long. Just gonna screw that into place and kind of lay that on its side. So here is a version in a mister bottle and then here is you know, the version in a pump top bottle. So before you, know, you use it, you are going to want to give it a nice good shake to combine and then you can dispense some product into your palm. And it's quite a lightweight, slippy serum that you can work through your hair to hydrate and moisturize. To give an idea of how a, a spray version dispenses. Give that a bit of a shake there and it comes out in a bit of a mist but it's not uh, it's not as dispersed as I would like for my hair. It's a little bit too localized when I was trying it earlier I ended up with kind of a few greasy spots because it just was too much product in um, too little hair. And yeah that is all it takes to make this gorgeous hyaluronic acid by phase hair serum. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and please make sure you're reading the full partner blog post linked in the description box below this video. You'll find lots more information down there, including information on substitutions, scaling, shelf life, links to places to buy all of the ingredients, uh, information on this formulation type, and a whole lot more. But yeah, thank you so much and I'll see you next time.